is this way it will suit Al Ali. I'm sure they'll be happy with the point away from home up to what's been a very difficult trip away from home by all accounts given the shenanigans with the way that uh, Al Ali felt they were badly treated by their hosts. Something for Cap to look into because an official complaint has been launched. Has been launched. Five minutes to just go. Five minutes to go to the halftime break. Ahmed Hassan, who like Mohammed Abu Trika and Wael Kumar, are stalwarts of this team. That's Mohammed Fadi Alusin. There is Ahmed Hassan. He's been there and done it all in his time. But uh, throw in will go the way of Al Ali, though. Starting to build out of defense here, uh, Hartland. Hartland, uh, uh, this season, are the sole representatives of Nigeria in the group stages here of um, the Champions League. Al Ali and uh, Ismaili are the two Egyptian teams. Both of them find themselves in the same group as well. It would be quite a story if uh, they were to both make it to the semi-finals. The incidentally Al Ali will be facing uh, the Samson Siasia, the man with the white polo shirt. part of a team coach. Samson's yes, here yeah, opening up team rather for the more casual look. I said he's one of the candidates for the job of Nigerian co coach of the Super Eagles. And by all indications are that the Nigerian FA will go with the Nigerian coach. In fact, interestingly enough, Lars Lagerbeck, the coach of uh, the Swedish coach who was in charge of the World Cup in South Africa, was the man who made the recommendation that perhaps African teams need to look to to themselves, as it were, like uh, employ local coaches. And you've got to say, he probably has a point. No World Cup winning squad has ever been, no squad coached by a foreigner has ever won the World Cup. Perhaps he is onto something. I mean, who would know the South? Who would know Nigerian players better than a Nigerian? The argument has been raised sometimes that perhaps, technically, the African coaches are perhaps not as gifted as in their own experience at the highest level. But it's a chicken or egg situation. Where do they get the experience if no one hires them? South Africa have. Uh, so on the way, as far as that's concerned, they've hired a South African uh, to coach the national team, Bafana Bafana, Peter Musimani, man who was assistant to coach Alberto Pereira, Carlos Alberto Pereira, 
during the World Cup, he's been there. He's the man who's now been given the, the job. He's in the hot seat now. Africa first approaching 20 in terms of coaches and have uh, coached their national team to Mutsimane number 18. This could be a, a real chance of Paul Al Ali, but oh, completely made a hash of that as he rushed into the shot. I thought he could have still taken another touch to control and steady himself, but uh, he went for the first time body and skied it way of target. Into the last minute of uh, regulation time at the end of this uh, first half, which has been a rather cagey affair with uh, very little in the way of uh, goal scoring chances. But uh, there's been no shortage of attacks coming from the home side. Here's John Oura again. Manages to get the ball in. Can they get a goal just before half time here? Yeah. Dancing past a couple of tackles there was. Uh, Julius Ubido and he's drawn a foul and a free kick in a very dangerous position. It's a real chance here for the home team to go into the break with a lead. One minute to be added on. So uh, this could possibly be the last bit of action in this half. The shot just goes wide. But it looks as if the referee wants it retaken. To be pointing to his whistle saying wait for my whistle and he's also going to reach for a card and uh, is it Velo that has been uh, booked we'll confirm that it's uh, definitely yes Velo Musa Kofamata who has been booked the first caution of the game and uh, Time to show what the referee booked him for there eh? uh, for taking the free kick early and then he gives the free kick to them again anyway. Uh, this one is even worse than the previous one, a, a bit of a waste there. And that is it for this first half. Referee blows his whistle for half time to end the half, but uh, yeah, disappointed in the, from the way of uh, goal scoring opportunities, very few. Heartland as the home team, as you would expect have dominated possession. Augustine Brown escaped, had a lucky escape when he spilt a shot and was very lucky to gather the rebound. But anyway, half time here at the Dan Anyam Stadium in Oweri. This group B encounter between uh, Hartland and uh, Al Ali is Hartland nil, Al Ali nil. Coming soon on your World of Champions this And welcome back uh, to the Dan Anyam Stadium in Oweri here in Southeast Nigeria with the second half of uh, uh, Orange Calf Champions League Group B clash. It's the home team Heartland. Last season's a beaten finalist up against Al Ali, the six time African champions and uh, the dominant force in African football. Augustine Brown there, uh, just getting a little bit of. Divine inspiration. He did have a head of a lucky let off there in that first half when he spilt a shot and uh, Fatih pounced onto it but was unable to steer it goward. So it was a lucky escape there. So his uh, God's looking after him there, Augustine Brown. So, well, it was his first half. It really didn't produce much in the way of uh, scoring chances. Hartman did dominate possession with. Uh, you see Samson Sia Sia there with a white uh, golf shirt. A man, new man in charge. Only six days since he's taken over this job as coach of 
disheartened, but he's made no secret of the fact that he's got bigger ambitions and more lofty ambitions. He would like to take over as coach of the Super Eagles. It's going to be Al Ali in the changed away strip. They wear it all blue. They'll be restarting the game, attacking the goals to the right of your screen. No changes yet. Uh, we will inform you of any changes. Uh, there's a man uh, just getting a quick wrap down. Perhaps we'll see him introduced in the not too distant future. Away we go. Second half underway here yeah, in Group B of the Orange Cup Champions League. Coming to you from the Oweri, the Dan Anyam Stadium in Oweri, Nigeria. Heartland. They are the home side, and uh, Ali both still searching for the opening goal of the game. And the uh, second half uh, starting pretty much as uh, the first proceeded with uh, Hartland uh, dominating and on attack again. Well, I don't know if that was the right option. There's quite a few red shirts to pick out to try and pick out. But uh, he went, man went for glory and in the end put in a rather tame effort that was never going to trouble the keeper. Did well to keep that one in play. Little knock down there. The ball over the top again. But, uh, too many blue jerseys around him. Still alive though for Heartland. And that the keeper will pluck those out of the air out of the air all afternoon long. Too close to the keeper. Who again goes route one, which is uh, pretty much the way Al Ali have been content to play. It's just play, pump the long ball up front. But it's uh, Hartland again that come forward with uh, Ibn Ikbu. Let's uh, look at that cross. See, just uh, not really giving him uh, forwards any options with that kind of ball. The players warming up there behind the goals. Augustine Brown at the opposite end. Twisting one way and the other way is the Joshua Obaji. Referee plays an advantage here because uh, possession still with uh, Hartland, but not for long. Run of matches in this uh, group will be on the 31st of July at the end of the month when uh, Hartland will be traveling to Algeria to face JS Kabili and, the, and uh, the other game in the group will be an Egyptian derby with Al Ali taking on the neighbors Ismaili or oh, fellow countrymen Ismaili that's in the next round of matches on the 31st of July. This is a uh, promising now. Flag has stayed down. A real chance. And there we have it. It's the opening goal. Iketruku Ibenekbu gets the goal. And a celebration to go along with it as well. I'll well, check out the flares in the stand as well. They're on fire. Other Nazar Milanese. They finally get reward for all the possession that they've had in this game. Finally, they make the break the deadlock. 
And uh, I think it's actually Obaje that's uh, been credited with a goal. Yeah, indeed it has. Joshua Obaje gets his name on the score sheet and gives the lead to the home team. Confirmation then Hartland 1, Al Ali Neil. This was a very good run from John Owori and just slides it past the keeper there. That's it. Easiest of goals. In fact, no. In fact, that's a, the correct the goal scorer. He did get a touch there. Was the goal scorer should it, the goal should be credited to number six Ikechuku Ibenegbu. I did think that he got it, the last touch on that one. Have a look at the replay again if uh, we get it. But I can tell you that uh, it looked to me that uh, as if that one went off the boot, went in off the boot of Ike Ibenegbu. Never mind, regardless of uh, the scorer, Hartland have the lead. That's just where they wanted to be. And it took all of 49 minutes. There was a deliber deliberate handball there. There will be a yellow card. Yellow card confirmed for you in a moment who is the player that was booked. It was for a deliberate handball. Give a referee no option at all. Second yellow of the game. First one for uh, Al Akli player. Uh, Hartland have deserved the lead but for no other reason but purely for the amount of possession that they've enjoyed and endeavor. Here they come again. time they get it away the two sides due to face each other again in September the 11th of September in Cairo that's when the return leg will be taking place set something up down that right hand side it's where they've looked more dangerous uh, Hartland when they attack down that right hand side as they look to switch play now it's a very good ball to find John Owori John Owori will switch to flanks as well now Owori wins the corner does he? no it's still in play and another chance here for his brace oh denied by the woodwork Ikechuku Ibenegbu hits the crossbar Crashes off the plumbing there. That was so close to being a spectacular second for Ibenegbu and for Hartland. Pressure coming now from Owori. He's been a live wire, this man. John Owori looking for the one two, but uh, still keep possession. This is good football from Hartland. Cross comes in. Oh, testing the keeper. That was a shot come cross there. Fired in by Joseph Johnny Jackson. 
They're going to make a change now, uh, Al Ali. Mohamed Barakat will be the player to come on. A very experienced Mohamed Barakat. But in a moment, who he will who he'll be replacing. It's Al Ali that are making the first change here. And he's replaced Abdel Raouf. First change and it's an attacking player on for another. Try and solve as they look to try and salvage something from this game. Try and at least get a point out of it. Can a keeper with a rather tricky looking ball there to deal with? There's a player down for uh, Hartland. goes onto the field it's the goal scorer Ikechuko Ibenikbu a rather dejected looking Rauf on the bench there having been replaced by having been replaced by Mohamed Barakat very experienced player Barakat 33 years old he is now An offensive midfield player or attacking midfielder. There's nothing offensive about him at all. But he's an also a former. He's an Egyptian international. Played 70 times for Egypt as Mohamed Barakat. And he's been with Al Ali since uh, 2004. Uh, Miscued across there completely. He made a hash of that one, did Ahmed Fati. Another change coming for Hossam El Hadri El Badri. It's another man down for Heartland. Referee wants the stretcher to come on. And uh, the, the, the famous uh, Super Eagles brass band there. They're in here supporting uh, Heartland. As you can see, wearing the colors of uh, the Super Eagles. The man is stretched off. We're going to have another change in the meantime here. Yeah. Hossam El Said. Hossam Ghani is the player who's going to come on. Another. Veteran of Egyptian football, Osam Ghali, is preparing to come on. Just sorting out the paperwork. Stolen back here by Heartland. Yes, Obido heading all the way back to his keeper. Here's the change then. One uh, veteran for on for another. Ahmed Hassan has been replaced by Hossam Ghali. Second change there made by Hossam El Badri, coach of uh, Al Ali. Still something possibilities here again for Hartland. The cross wasn't the best.
Couldn't control it there. Couldn't keep it in play. Don't worry. As Ahmed Hassan taking a break. Uh, just obscured there. Hassan Ghali. Man who's come on. 28 years old. It's a recent signing. It's actually it's also one of the new signings uh, made by Al Ali in the off-season. So he's uh, making his uh, first official appearance here for Al Ali, man who's played was with Al Nasser. Started his career with uh, Al Ali back in 2001 before moving to Fair North in Holland. And he also was on uh, the books of Tottenham Hotspur and Derby County on where he was on loan before heading back to play football where for Al Nasser. And now he's back in his home country, Egypt, playing with uh, the team where it all started for him, Awesome Gali. He's come full circle, you could say. Here they come again. Another strong break. That's a good looking ball, but I think he's put too much on it. He's asking too much. Even of the pacey Joshua Obaje was never going to get there. So the Nazar Millionaires, uh, Heartland lead by a goal to nil as we hit the hour mark here at the Dan Aniam Stadium in Oweri. More work for the paramedics to do here. Some sincere here there with some words. Passing on the message there. Don't no worry. Just uh, muscled out of it. Too many blue shirts around him there. There's a foot up there. Clumsy challenge there. I think, is it going to draw a yellow card? The foul there on uh, Mohammed Abdel Fadil. Fadil. And uh, Olobo there was the guilty party. And it looks as if he's going to get away with it. Manuel Olowo, the captain of uh, this Hartland side. The referee's whistle is gone. The referee wants the ball taken from the correct spot. Al Ali trying to fight. They're not doing enough, though, I must say. They haven't really shown much urgency. They haven't done enough to suggest that they might sneak an equalizer here, but you never write off Al Ali. But there's been something about them that to this afternoon and just in their body language has not been very positive. They haven't looked up for a fight at all in this game. That perhaps if it was a bit of gamesmanship employed by the Nigerians, it has worked in terms of them not booking a flight for them, not arranging transport from the airport for them. Perhaps it's worked. They've gotten under their skins and uh, they're just not up for it. All do look a bit like they'd rather be somewhere else than the Al Ali players. 
lacking in motivation. There's a distinct lack of fight about them as well out there. Can they come forward to Heartland? No way through this time. Bit of sportsmanship being shown there by the two players as they walk away in a warm embrace. See the <laughs> referee just sitting at his flag up, and Mohammed uh, and Husseini not happy with uh, the call. Just to say it's not likely to change the call for the season. 25 minutes are remaining. The home team, Heartland, last year's beaten finalist. And they were only just pipped at the post where Heartland lost on away goals rule to TP Mazembe. But there could be an equalizer here. Great save from the keeper, Augustine Brown. Just like that, Al Ali nearly sneaked an equalizer. And well, that effort there just sums up their afternoon, really. He miscues the ball and goes to ground. You can see the body language I was talking about. Just don't look like you want to be here. Now this was that chance, had maybe too much time because he was caught in two minds, set it up for a teammate or go for goal himself, but in the end, Mohamed Abu Treka, who's uh, really been quiet in this game. And they need players like Abu Treka to step up in a situation like this, but uh, he has uh, been very quiet. Warming up there for the Nigeria for Heartland is Adama Ada. Still wave after wave of a red attack here. As the home side look to make a headway. it back here now uh, Ali maybe can make a break for it here it's a chance here it's a good looking run here just couldn't pick out couldn't get the cross in when it took a deflection it should be a corner or oh, what's the assistant that indicated that's a Barakat who had made that run this is a, a rerun of the goal there and I'm a little bit confused now as to who that goal scorer was. I had the goal scorer down as Ikechuku Inekbu, but um, speaking the correction, it could also have been uh, Joshua Obajo or Belo Kofamata, but we will confirm it for you. There's Adama. Adama Ada is going to be the player to come on. come again now just a little bit maybe just a bit more urgency coming into the game now as uh, with the substitutions that have been made so it look a little bit more lively it's a player down for our heartland but uh, play will continue there's going to be a corner here and uh, will allow Belo to receive attention Belo Musa Kofamata
Adama Ada still waiting to come on. Corner here for Al Ali Ahmed Fati. Two players going for the same ball at the far post. Another volley! Oh my word, I tell you what. That little prayer that uh, Augustine, Augustine Brown said at the start of the second half is working. Because the ball there came off the upright and came straight into his hands. What a lucky break for Hartland there. But as I was saying a moment ago, it looks as if Al Ali are stepping it up a little bit. Yeah. Creating some opportunities now. Have a look at this. Stronger on the volley takes a deflection off. The, it could easily have gone in after that deflection, but instead it comes off the upright and straight back into Augustine Brown's hands. The grateful Augustine Brown. Bello is back up and running. 20 minutes remaining at the Dan Aniam Stadium here in Oedi. See Hartland still enjoying. Most of the position. But Al Ali are certainly stepping it up a little bit now. Bello lets it. To get out the ball and let it run. Wael Koma. Pressure coming. But uh, probably get on this one there with no hassle. Well, Adama Ada will finally get onto the field. Wait an eternity. Adama has replaced Obaja. Being a positive is a. Uh, Samson Sia Sia working it wide. There is uh, Ibenekbu. Way by Wael Guma. Ibenekbu again. Wiring it wide. The problems here, the real chance for Al Ali. Is that a penalty? Yes! Well, 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 Mohamed Barakat has earned a, a, a penalty. I warned that they certainly have stepped it up, and the yellow card goes to Julius Obido. You have to be careful about how you cannot dive in like that in the box. Mohamed Barakat knew exactly what he was doing, wanted to draw the foul, takes it, and it did come. Very good call from the referee. Well placed to make the decision. And just like that, Al Ali have an opportunity to snatch what looked at an unlikely point at some point. We still have a long way to go. Just over 15 minutes of play still left. Completely mistimed it. That is a clumsy and a very careless challenge. Or was it uh, Onowa, the captain, that made the challenge? It might have been all over when we made that tackle. The captain and us, we book now. Augustine Brown. So they did a few lucky breaks. Can you keep this one out? No chance. Too much power. He got a fingertip to it, but just too much power. Mohamed Abu Dreka, who's been a completely anonymous in this game, steps up to slot it away. If there's one man you would want to take a penalty for your life, this is he. Vasi experience, Mohamed Abu Cheka brings uh, an ugly level. And suddenly, Hartlands could have a, a problem on their hands now because, as I said, Al Ali have really upped the ante in the 
last sort of 10 to 15 minutes really come into their own now. Hamid won, our only one. Hamid Abu Taker's penalty leveling the scores. So, how do Hartnett respond? Can they go back in front? Or will it be Al Ali now who will have their tails up? They've been in this situation long. Many times about Ali. Not surprising to see them go on. That's another goal. That's a free kick. Losing a little bit of anticipation here, uh, Hartnett. Sorry. Joseph Jackson with a deliberate trip on uh, Osam Mohammed Ashur. It goes to two points that left hand side where all of a sudden Al Ali are looking into the meeting. One last uh, change. Uh, it's, uh, it's like uh, Mohammed Nagi Afash, the player.